Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your love and general reading for February 2018. This Sagittarius video is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the description is in the inbox below, my website as well as my email for you guys. I'll do my best to get back to everyone as soon as possible. So Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for February 2018. Let's go ahead and pull your cards for love first. Hopefully they're very, very good. All right, first three cards, boom, six of pentacles. The tower is crossing the six of pentacles. Empress, distant pass. Page of pentacles upright below. Four of swords above crowning you guys. The chariot, the cancer card, major arcana. In your environment, okay, well, basically your card is a strength card. In the environment, what is the card? Ten of Cups. All right, so very, very cool cards here, Sagittarius. Is. Lovely fire sign. Really, really cool cards so far. Last two cards, Sagittarius, February 2018. Ooh, okay. Let's see what you got. Ten of Pentacles, upright, lovely. Talks to Bitcoin, investments, stock, money, trade, new property, real estate. Lots of nice stuff over there. Hopes and fears. Your hope, your hope, Sagittarius, probably is to get Bitcoin, have profit with Bitcoin, profit with real estate, stuff like that. That's what I'm getting strongly. Investments. Ten of Wands reverse. Wow, we Sagittarius. Okay, so coming out of some conflict, that is for certain. Now, what I do want to note to you guys is a general reading. So I definitely recommend for you guys check out your rising and moon sign for additional messages, okay? Let's go ahead and pull three cards. Queen of Cups. The world, number 21, Major Arcana. I'm loving this energy for you, Sagittarius. It's very, very positive. Five of Swords upright. Okay, very, very cool here. Very, 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 very cool indeed. So what I can say automatically, this is a love reading. So basically, the first card you have crossed in the Six of Pentacles is a tower. So what I'm getting for the Sagittarius is that are in a couple or married, living together, basically, possibly roommate as well. There could be some situation in which somebody is having some problems negotiating payments. Um, if you own a property, for example, and like you have uh, people renting out your property, I am seeing something to do with that that could be a little bit of a, a some kind of problem, some kind of negotiation, some kind of compromise here. Um, what else am I seeing here for love for you guys? Well, basically, on your side, everything looks good, okay? Regardless of your environment, um, everything looks really, really nice. To be honest with you, very, very positive, very, very <coughs> abundant and fruitful, excuse me. Strength card below. Well, you have crowning use of four of swords. So this is talking about needing a rest or really, really craving some time out for yourself. So I do see here, I'm not going to lie, that on the career front, seeping into your love reading, Sagittarius, that you are very, very busy with work, okay? Hopes, fears, I mean, your hope and your final card really tie together and it screams to me career, okay? So this is basically about trying to overcome tiredness, trying to improve your health, four of swords, Try to use tactics, try to use methods, breathing methods, meditation to enhance your energy level because it definitely seems like from December, you guys were having some difficulty trying to get out of that. And we did have retrograde last December on that time. So, hey, I don't blame you guys. Ten of Pentacles investments. So basically, you you have been working really, really hard um, on the career front and money front, trying to invest in this to get this. So basically, you're just you're just wanting some time out, okay? You're wanting some time to breathe. So the home life looks decent, personal relationships look decent. Um, I would definitely just say, you know, put the brakes a little bit on um, overexpending, okay? So like basically, work smarter, not harder, okay? Easier said than done. Immediate future, the chariot card the cancer card so definitely could um talk about a water sign coming towards you so if you're a single sagittarius definitely could talk about a single can uh, water sign cancer pisces scorpio that's interested in you wants to hang out with you wants to get to know you that's very very strong over here as well as virgo sun virgo venus gemini sun leo sun so air earth and water not not fire okay i'm not seeing any fire here at all um basically the world queen of cups 
So definitely in regards to gender, could definitely be talking about going in a direction, once again, of a water sign. So someone's seriously excited and fired up to be with a water sign here. Um, I get for a lot of you guys, it's like you've never really had a relationship with a water sign or got to know a water sign. So a lot of you guys are interested in getting to know one. That's also what I'm picking up here. In the recent past, definitely could have been some kind of dishonesty, though. And I'm getting that it's mainly on your part, okay, in regards to your work life. So definitely could be some conflict here between, you know, how much time you spend with work and how, how much time you spend with somebody else. Now here, if you are in real estate, if you are buying property, it's things like that that I feel like if you are in that kind of market, sales, okay, if you're in college and you work in sales, something like that, that definitely could be burning you out. And something may definitely happen that shakes up your world, okay, and that I'm getting is regard to home life. So please be careful here of cheating and also be careful of giving somebody like fake hope and fake promise. So if you know basically that you can't hang out with somebody or you're not interested, then just basically this month, don't tell them that you are because they'll come charging at you and they'll be actually demanding you Sagittarius to own up to whatever they, you know, whatever you tell them. So for example, if you're really, really busy at work or, you know, the truth of the matter is you're dating somebody, but you want to work another 15 hours this week to bump up some money to invest in Bitcoin or get some money over here. It's just stuff like that that I'm picking up from you guys. It's very, very quick, fast energy, okay? So basically, if you cannot do that, then don't promise anything you cannot deliver this month because people will hold you accountable. It's actually the same thing here for borrowing and lending and um, giving money, okay? Same thing here I'm getting as well as bills for a house, okay? If you're married or a roommate, things like that. I definitely am getting here if you have a roommate, and you guys have been having problems for a while picking up on earth energy here capricorn virgo and um taurus guys sorry i'm a little tired yeah i'm picking up on that here so basically if you are in a roommate with somebody or you're living with somebody married uh if there's definitely an emphasis here to pay your bills make sure they're paying their bills um if you have kids and it's not like if it's not you and your spouse and you have kids make sure your kids are paying their bills because there is an emphasis here on on repaying something so please be careful with just taking money out or if your kids are taking money out and you don't know about it and you have that kind of weird feeling and i'm saying this then check your kids bank accounts okay check your kids room see if they're actually actually paying you know things appropriately look through that because there is some kind of tower energy with with finances here but it's not so much affecting you personally thank god it's more so about people around you expecting you to give something and in terms of six of pentacles it could also be about time so if you can't give somebody your time um exactly then don't 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 you know give them that impression because people will, will really hold you accountable okay so ten of wands reverse so you're really not wanting to be exhausted you're wanting to have high energy and hey this reading is giving me a ton of high energy so i don't think you guys will have any problem with that at all let's go ahead and pull a card for married couple single dating and engaged okay so three cards total married slash couple single slash dating engaged so for Sagittarius is February 2018. What can they expect? Okay. Let's see. All right, the first two cards we got here. So married, if you're married, there's definitely an opportunity here to invest in something. I got that earlier very, very strongly. So it could be a timeshare, could be property, could be, um, you know, someone's like new car, old car. There's definitely energy here for those that are with somebody or living with somebody like coupled up where you definitely could get some extra money on the side, but make sure it's kosher and make sure that whatever you're investing in is actually real and is actually beneficial. You know, don't, don't get in a, in a, uh, excited mode and then you spend all this money and then you can't find where it is or the person lied and said oh sorry I didn't know this had this problem or had that problem you know make sure that they're actually kosher you know get the facts get the documents and do what you got to do Sagittarius is our single our dating you have a strength card so if you are looking for a perfect partner obviously perfect does not exist but if you're looking for somebody who is close to perfect then they're definitely saying you have the energy this week and this month Sagittarius to go out there and find someone okay so this definitely does involve here going to social scenes 
talking with friends, getting things done, um, you know, dressing up, you know, every other night, going to the bar. Like it's that kind of energy where you're able to get out here and, um, you know, show what you're made of. So this is very exciting for you guys. It's it's definitely also the card of Leo. So also possibly could be talking to um, a Leo and about a Leo coming into your life. So earlier I did get Cancer and Leo for you Sagittarius's. So definitely a possibility a fire sign or, um, or water sign could be coming your way. So get excited, okay? For those engaged, Sagittarius's that are engaged February 2018, what can they expect? Show us a card. What can they expect? February 2018. Sagittarius. Okay, let it fall out. All right, Justice card in reverse. Okay, so something definitely could um need some like legal representation or something may need to be looked over in the house. Okay, I am getting the feeling here if you have just bought a personal property or there's lots of things. There's lots of energy here on property for you Sagittarius this month. Oh my God, it's pretty cool. But yeah, <clears throat> in terms of like either moving or something like that, there definitely is some kind of warning here I'm saying for you guys where you may need to look into the property that you're either renting or buying or investing in investing in and the same energy I got for the married couples as well okay make sure that what you're going into is kosher and what it says it is okay so don't go into any kind of you know get get rich quick scheme um that somebody tells you through about the grapevine make sure that for yourself it's actually legit and it's actually doable and it actually brings it will actually bring some um income in and as I'm looking at this card kind of from afar there is a pyramid symbol right there's like a kind of like a triangle symbol here so whatever that means for you engaged um Sagittarius is take that message how you will okay I'm gonna go ahead and pull 12 cards for the month to see what kind of energetic patterns you can expect for this month what's around you energetic wise let's go ahead and see Sagittarius the magician card number one so absolutely being able to kind of be a go-getter this month and get what you want okay definitely a lot of strong energy here the moon okay so once again like i said the pisces card the moon can talk about um deception and illusion and lies so once again if it comes to a property land be careful of somebody telling you lies okay that's just basically the message there very loud and clear to me 15 the devil okay so you have all major arcana so far sagittarius everything is major arcana so you're definitely going to be, oh my God, look, another major arcana, the chariot, number seven. So yeah, definitely going to be involved. Uh-huh. The death card. Okay. So I'm definitely getting the feeling here that, I don't know why this just came to me, but definitely get the feeling here that definitely could be possibly a third party with a, uh, actually more than third party, uh, Capricorn, Cancer, and Scorpio. So either, it's actually either Scorpio, Cancer, or Capricorn. That's not going to be for everybody, but there definitely is something here about talking to a uh, Scorpio, Cancer, and a Capricorn. So it's like more than one person basically is around you. Ten of Wands. So can possibly be tired of somebody talking to more than one person or if it's not you, you know, you're tired of somebody talking to more than one person and kind of leaving you out in the cold. So possibly could be deception in terms of somebody um, saying they're only talking to you, but they're really talking to more than one person. So that, that, that's also what I'm getting here as well. Yeah, the tower. Okay. Card number 16. So that's definitely a possibility here I'm seeing. King of Cups, yeah, so definitely could be a situation in which either you're talking to more than one person or they are, but that's only I'm getting for dating or single. That's not for married, okay? That's for people that are just trying to find the one here. Hermit Virgo, Four of Wands, and the Balance. So you have so many Major Arcana. I don't think I've seen so many Major Arcana in a very long time. I don't think I've, I've ever had that happen, okay? So Magician, the Moon, Pisces, Capricorn, 15, Devil. Cancer 7, Scorpio 13, Tower, High Priestess, Hermit, Virgo 14, Temperance, Sagittarius. Here you are. So definitely could be a possibility that there's some definitely there's some this deception. Deception. Once again, this kind of like love triangle thing going on. So definitely could be some deception about somebody talking to more than one person here. And that that that's definitely what could rock the house here. Someone's totally tired over a third party. So if that's hitting home for you, you can hit me up on my email. 
for a part reading but yeah definitely something about a king of cups cancer pisces scorpio cancer pisces scorpio let's go ahead and pull three cards to close sagittarius Main theme for February 2018, Sagittarius, justice in reverse again. So somebody possibly is not telling the truth about something that's very, very vital, either with money or with love or both. That's what I'm getting. Someone is like thinking they kind of ran away with the goods, but they're missing, they're missing the truth here. This person can be doing the right things saying the right things but there's definitely some kind of lack of truth here to this person and with this and with the six of wands i normally never get that so definitely could be something in regards to somebody's taking money stealing money yeah because just this card in reverse ten of pentacles in reverse and earlier we had this card upright but as soon as it's around a water sign or six of wands it's in reverse it's like flipped it's just changed so this person i would definitely say watch out for somebody is a little conniving tricky like liar scammer so please be careful of somebody who was really using you for the wrong reasons all right Sagittarius see you in the next video take care bye